What's up guys? I'm back. I'm back in our video today. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is I'm gonna be talking about a trade that happened in basketball a couple of days ago. So yeah, I'm back. So I'm not gonna do my long intros and I'm not gonna do my long intro today. Like where I say like the subscribe, like, comment, and share stuff and stuff about 50 subscribers and 2021. I'm gonna save that to the end of the video. But let's go guys. So uh, in basketball, uh, a trade happened with uh, involving a point guard from the Boston Celtics, uh, Kemba Walker, and yeah, I'm gonna be talking about him and about him getting traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. So yeah, I got these pieces of paper, and yeah, you know. So let's just go. Uh, Kemba Walker traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, former Boston Celtics and Char Hornets all-star point guard Kemba Walker gets traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. In return, the Celtics will get Al Horford, Mo Moses Brown, and a future second round pick. Walker was drafted in round one, pick nine, by Charlotte Bobcats in the 2011 NBA Draft and made his NBA debut in the 2000 in the, on, on December 26, 2011. I kind of Stumbled there like I kind of stopped there, but let's continue Arguably Walker's best season was in the 2018-19 NBA season where he played all 82 games and averaged 25.6 points per game 5.9 assists per game three-point percentage of 35.6 percent true sh true shooting percentage of 55.8 percent usage percentage of 31.5 and um a free throw percentage of 84.4 percent. He has he he has made the playoffs four times during his career with the Hornets and the Celtics. His career stats are 19.9 points per game, 5.4 assists per game, field goal percentage of 41.9 percent, free throw percentage of 84 percent, a four time a four time All Star, two career triple doubles, um, 700. Four career games so far, 2,741 2, free throws made in 3,262 attempts, steals per game of 1.3, and made the made the All NBA team in the 2018-19 NBA season. So that's that's basically about the trade. I'm gonna be talking about what I think of the trade. Like I think it's a good trade for both teams. I think it's like, yeah. So what do I think about the trade? Like, for the Thunder side, I feel like it's a good trade for the Celtic. For the Thunder side, I feel like it's a good trade because you're going to be getting an all-star point guard and he's going to be pairing up in the backcourt with Shea Gilgis Alexander, which, yeah, he's proven that he's a really good player and he can score, shoot threes, and stuff like that. <laughs> like, you can make shots and stuff. And, yeah. Well, like, yeah. That's basically on the, uh, Thunder side. Like, I think it's a pretty good fit for the Cel for the Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> I keep saying, uh, I keep almost saying the wrong teams. Like, I go to say the Oklahoma City Thunder, and I say the Boston Celtics, and, yeah. Like, for the Thunder, it's a, like, you guys are getting an outside point guard, like, is like arguably his best season was in the 2018-19 NBA season, right? Like he was an All NBA player. He averaged 25 points per game and stuff. Like he's proven that he could. Like he was the only like when he was in Charlotte. Like he was the only guy that was doing anything really. Like he was the only guy that, like did anything. Well, before, like, when he got drafted, they were called the Short Bobcats, and then they switched names to become the Short Hornets and stuff. And, yeah. And for the Celtics side, I don't like the trade for the Celtics. Because you're trading away uh, an all-star point guard for basically other guys that are don't, I don't think are going to be good anymore. Well, Al Horford... Uh, like, he's the only decent guy that came out of the trade. I mean, like, he could defend, he could pass, he could rebound. 
He can shoot three a little bit. I mean, like, that, like, he's, like, he's been an all-star in the past with Atlanta. With the Atlanta Hawks. And, and oh, I think a couple of years ago, Al Horford used to play for the Celtics, I think. If I remember. I don't know. You guys can let me know. But I feel like I remember um, Al Horford in a Celtics uniform before. I, that's just why I feel like. Like, I don't know. But just, yeah. Like, I feel like for both teams, it's a good trade. Like, for both teams. Like, yeah, you know. I feel like, like, the Celtics are, I don't think, are going to want Al Horford anymore. Like, he's going to the end of his career. Like, he's 35, I think. He's 35. No, he's 36, I think. He's 36 or 35. I don't know. I think he's 36 years old. Which, he's pretty dang old. Like, I don't really know if the Celtics want him anymore. Like, I think after his contract is done, I think they're just going to let him go and just move on to a different team. For Should they have traded Kemba Walker? No, I don't think they tr- should have traded him, but, but hey, this is what they wanted to do. I guess they just decided to just trade Kemba Walker. I mean, they still have good, other great players like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and stuff. I mean, you guys obviously know what Jason Tatum has done. Like, he's... Proven that he could be, a, that he's gonna be a superstar in this league, and yeah, you know, you know, they got guys, like Jalen Brown. He's a good player. Like he could shoot three a little. He could score a little bit. He's obviously an amazing defender. He could like defend anybody basically. Like I feel like the position you could play him at is like at small. No, no, a shooting guard, and have leave Jason Tatum at small forward. If that's what the Celtics are planning to do. Like, yeah, you know. I, I feel like it's a, a good trade for both teams. Like, that's why I think. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think of the trade and stuff like that. So, yeah. I basically said all my stuff that I want to say. So, like, yeah. I've already said all my things I want to say today. So, yeah, guys. Uh, you guys basically know the first steps of what you guys got to do in order to be successful. On this YouTube channel. Like four steps are. Subscribe. Like. Comment. And share. Like. The, the four steps are. Subscribe. Like. Comment. And share. I want to get 50 subscribers. By the end of 2021. So if you can get me to 50 subscribers. By the end of 2021. That would be great. Like that would be so great. If you could get me to 50 subscribers. By the end of 2021. As always guys. Have a great guys day and peace everybody.